One of the great things about Drupal is the built-in comment system, which is now also part of Entity API. Go ahead and click on Structure and Comment Types, and you'll see here the default comments and default comment type. We could add a new comment type here, but all we're going to do is manage the fields for the default comments. Let's add an email field to the comments. Now again, when I click on Content and click on Welcome to Sydney, you'll know that article content types have commenting built in. It's a subject field and the comment field, but there's really no other information there as of yet. Well, we're going to ask people to leave their email address on our comment field. Not something you probably do in real life, but it's a good demonstration. So again, structure, comment types. Let's manage the fields for the default comments and add a field. Click on Add a New Field and choose Email. We'll just call that Email. Click Save and Continue. We'll leave it at 1, Save and Continue. In the Help text, go ahead and put Please enter your email address. We'll make it Required. That way people can't leave a comment without putting in an email address. Click Save Settings. All right, let's go and add a comment. Click Content and Welcome to Sydney. And now down on my comment field, you'll see that the email field is required. Subject, nice picture. That is a nice picture. Thank you, I took it myself. <laughs> and my email is email at email.com. Now, that doesn't have to be a real email address, but it does have to be a properly formatted email address because Drupal has built-in checking. Click Save. And because we're logged in as the user number one today, all of our comments, they're all approved automatically. And you'll notice that the email address is actually right in the comment. So comments, fieldable through the Entity API.